Good morning, children. Welcome to our class. Today's class is for class ten, and the lesson name is the Brave Potter. So we have discussed about this lesson in the previous videos. So once we say the key points, and then I continue today's class. So we said there was a tiger which is running towards forest for a shelter. Then it saw a old woman's hut. It lay down there. Then a creature came. Who is that creature? Potter came and he gave heavy blows upon its head and shoulder. And he what? He took the tiger towards his home. He thought that tiger is a donkey, right? He was drunken when he he has a worked in field and he came back to his home house. He asked his wife to give palm oil. As he drank, he remembered that he tied his donkey under a tree. So it was raining. He thought to. Bring the donkey into the stable. Then he didn't see the donkey there. He went into the forest by searching tiger. By searching donkey, he saw the tiger there. He was drunk and so he felt that the tiger has a donkey and he bought it and tied it under a tree with a iron rope. So the next day morning, the villagers who were passing through his house has saw. the tiger under a tree and they all praised potter for his braveness but did he do anything he don't know that it is a tiger in the drunken mood he felt that it is a donkey and we bought so when he woke up and saw the tiger in front of his house he fainted so until this we have discussed in the last class so later he said to everyone that he didn't do nothing but he just brought his donkey home no one didn't believe him and he, they said he is being modest modest means he is very humble so he is not agreeing that he has done the good thing and they all felt he has done those thing and all people have immediately if we know some news what happens we will say to our friends and friends it goes throughout the village so the story went throughout the village and everyone started calling him as a Brave Potter, because without bare hands, without taking any things, he, he just went and got a tiger. So everyone called him as a Brave Potter. But Brave Potter doesn't know how he has bought the tiger. So this has happened in the second part. In the third part, what happened? The the war broke out between the Potter's country and the Naivur country. The Naivur countries have a large army. They are very strong and powerful. Whereas Potter's country king was thinking, we have a army, but we know that we are weaker than the other neighbour countries because they are very strong. And I need a general of the army to lead my army. People, he said, what is a general of the army? He need a leader to lead his army. So he didn't get any idea. Then he called ministers and he asked. so we are going to fight with the neighbor country so we need a leader to lead our army then one of the ministers had heard about the potter story before we said no the story went throughout the world saying that potter is a brave potter so the minister heard about his story somewhere then he suggested he advised potter's name to the king to make him as a leader of the army so the king sent a letter to potter's house calling him to the capital city of that village so the next day morning potter went and when the potter know that he he had become the general of the army he frightened because he has to go and fight he never carried a sword or never ridden a horse he doesn't know all those things and he become a general of the army then he remembered his donkey and he felt very angry and telling to his wife that because of that stupid donkey only now today i am getting these kind of problems he said and next day they went to the capital to meet the king they went then the king said we are very pleased to make you as a leader of our army so our enemies are very near to our village so you need to Lead our army, he said, and they have given a splendid house to Potter. So that night, Potter couldn't sleep. Splendid means what he has seen. 
splendid means luxurious house they have given to stay for quarter so that night quarter couldn't sleep because next day morning he has to go and he has to fight with the neighbor countries but does he know how to handle a sword he doesn't know and he doesn't know how to ride a horse so with this all such thoughts he is unable to sleep he didn't get any sleep then he thought okay next day morning i'll wake up early and i will learn how to ride a horse he thought and he told to his wife as he said the next day morning he woke up early and he started to do those things which he has to learn next day morning he woke up as he said early in the morning he woke up then he saw the horse he has to right now he saw the horse it is in the stable it is a brown horse and it is very tall he is thinking how could i climb on the horse it is very tall i cannot climb on it even then wife said there was a bench she said use this bench then climb on the horse with the difficulty even by using the table he is unable to climb so however at last he climbed on the horse then the saddle was very slippery the play the on the horse he will sit no that is saddle he sat on that and that is very slippery couldn't sit on that and then there were stirrups see stirrups means to keep support on the horse we will sit no to keep our feet support there will be a things where we keep our feet those are stirrups he said to wife that you tie with a rope to the stirrup so that i couldn't slip if i fall off what happens everyone will look at me and they will laugh at me so you tie to that stirrup she said the wife took a rope and she tied then later she also took the rope underneath the horse and then she tied to him to his vest he sat on the saddle no here also she tied then potter said you also tie my hands to its neck to the horse neck because if he if he doesn't hold he may fall so she said to hold those and tie those hands to the horse so the before the wife was doing that thing making his hands to tie to the horse neck the horse was it was impatient because the tiger sat on him i mean the potter sat on him and they were doing tying all the ropes around its head and the vest it couldn't do all those things so suddenly what happened it collapsed it collapsed means in the race how they jump and go so it it started moving slowly and ran towards the enemy's side so slowly throughout the city gates it went then the fences it, it is crashing everything and it was going on the porter wouldn't know where the horse is going when he knew the tiger is going towards the enemy's country then what he had done he tried very hardly to stop the horse with the reins what is reins here reins means the leather wheels where we keep on a horse head to control it so he tried very hardly so that the horse would stop because if he go and reach enemy's country he cannot fight so he tr he tried to stop it very hardly even the horse didn't stop so what has happened while the horse was going on its way they saw a tree the potter saw a tree what he thought i will hold this tree hardly so that horse will stop so he started holding the tree but horse wouldn't stop what happened instead the tree the full tree whatever the tree he was holding the tree only uprooted fully the tree has uprooted from the land and he was holding in one hand the tree was in his one hand and when they were about to reach the enemy's country there was a sentry there was a sentry means a god who is guarding in front of the those uh, army so he saw the brave potter coming with a tree in his one hand he felt 
Oh, he is the man. They said he is a brave warrior. Without any things, with the bare hands, he went into the forest and he bought a tiger. Now, with one hand, he uprooted full tree. Actually, why he has done that? To stop the horse, he has done that thing. But what the enemy people were thinking? He is very brave. So, with one hand only, he uprooted full tree. They thought. So immediately, the god went into went into the shelters of the army and he said, "Come on, run from here, run, save your lives because the brave water is coming and he is very brave and he is giant. Giant means very large. He is a giant. So he was uprooting a tree with his one hand. So he is coming towards us." Come on, run away from here and save your lives. He was saying. Immediately, whoever the soldiers they were there, they ran away from that. They fled. Fled means from. Fled means what? Ran away to escape. So they all ran and escaped themselves. But enemy's country king will be there. No, he was there only in his shelter. So he he doesn't know what he has to do. So he took a letter and wrote a letter to. village i mean potter's country king what he has written i am apologizing for coming towards your country for war let us be in peace no need of any wars he wrote a letter and he kept our poor potter he came towards the enemy's spot the horse has made him to fall on the floor as he fall on the floor he got up from there and he went into the shelters who were there Then he saw a letter there. We said, "No, the king has written a letter." So that letter he bought, he took, and he went into the wife's, and he said to wife that, "I am very tired. I never ride a horse in my life again." So the enemy country king has given a letter. You give it to the king. She, he said that he went to sleep. Then what happened? The king took the letter and he saw. Then he felt very happy. Really, a brave potter is very powerful. So because of that only, enemy countries have fled and ran away from that place. They all fled. Then king asked, "Where is your husband?" Then wife said, "My husband is very tired, so he was taking rest." Then the king said, "Let him take rest today. Tell him to come to my palace tomorrow to take the reward." The next day he went. And he went along with the horse, but he didn't ride on the horse because he doesn't know how to ride. So he took the horse and he made it into the stable and he walked towards the palace. Palace. The people have gathered there. They were cheering uh, the porter, saying that he is very brave. Then they all felt, see, he is very simple and humble. He is not coming on the horse. He is very simple. He is walking and running towards the palace to meet king. He is very humble and. respectable person they all got but actually what is the thing he doesn't know how to ride a horse the king has given a reward so that he can never work in his life also he can sit and easily enjoy with that amount and they all felt very happy and everyone still saying that he is very brave but actually he hasn't the story went on like this and finally he got a reward so that he can live his life fully happy and he became brave potter thank you children this is the lesson if you don't understand go to the re rewinding videos and see it again